everyone welcome back to my channel today I've created this look for you um, I'm not really sure what look it is but if you want to find out how to do it then keep watching so I'm going to start with my eyebrows and I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade in the color chocolate like always I think I might try and do my eyebrows a little more natural today because I don't actually really do my eyebrows ever other than when I film so I might just fill them in where they need it I've been thinking recently because obviously now I've got more time this month I think I'm going to try and upload a bit more in December um, ideally I'd love to do vlogmas whether that's going to happen or not um, you have to wait and see also, if I do sort of attempt to do Vlogmas, I don't think every day is going to be like a vlog. So it will still be a video, just not necessarily a vlog. And I do sort of have like a rough idea of what I want to film um, and what I want to upload on certain days. So hopefully it goes all right. So eyebrows are now all filled in. For foundation, I'm going to be mixing two. So I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation and the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturiser. So I am mixing two because one is a little too light and the other is a little too dark. So yeah, mix it together quite nicely. So like I said, I do have so many plans to film different things in December. Obviously some of them that I was planning on filming I can no longer do. Um, but it's fine, we'll just think of something else nice and festive to do from home. Another thing that's going to be a little bit harder now is Christmas shopping. Um, because you are going to have to do majority of it online um whereas like i've said before i like to go and sort of have a look in the shops i do really want to start putting my christmas decorations up and it's probably too early i've seen ellie darby do it and literally i want to do that let me know down below when you all put your decorations up as i would like to know when a good time is Next up is concealer and I'm using my Collection Last and Perfection Concealer and this is in the colour Fair. I feel as if I'm just going to be talking about Christmas in this whole video because I keep going to say something about Christmas and I think, hmm, does everyone want to talk about Christmas yet? But I do. I have already pre-filmed some Christmas videos, luckily, where I'm actually out of the house, um, so that'll be good. I really want some new like Netflix series to watch as well, because I literally don't know what to watch at the moment. I've just, I've literally re-watched Harry Potter, I don't even know how many times, but I, I've been constantly watching Harry Potter christmas films and yeah i need something else to watch i'm so sad that the vampire diaries have gone now why they have taken that off i do not know as obviously it was very popular and i always used to re-watch it whenever i didn't have anything to watch and now i literally have nothing to watch so now i'm going to set my base with some powder this is my MAC Studio Fix Powder in the colour NC15. Everyone watching my makeup videos will probably think, Millie, you use the same stuff for every video. And yeah, I do. So, yeah, I do. So I'm thinking, do I go for something a little different today? I'd love to go for like a darker, smokier look. But I don't know if I'd suit that. And I do want to make my eyelash extensions last as long as I can. 
because I do not know when I'm going to be getting those redone. I'm booked in on the 4th of December, I'm pretty sure. But we just have to wait and see, don't we? Also, I don't know if you can see my new bedding. It's teddy fleece and it's so nice and warm. I thought that I'd get too hot in it, like I'd sweat and stuff, as gross as it sounds. But I don't and it's so comfy. The only bad thing is that I don't want to get out of it in the mornings. I'm not sure if I've mentioned it yet, but in the new year, I'm hopefully starting up my new nail business. So like, doing nails. And I've bought quite a lot of new things recently revolving around that. So if anyone wants to see a video related to that, then let me know. So now for bronzer, I'm using my Kiko Gold Waves bronzer. Just day to day, I normally use this as eyeshadow as well. Because it's a lot quicker. So I'm now going to go on to eyes and I'm going to use a palette that I don't actually use that much. Um, I used to use it a lot, but yeah, I don't really use it now. And that is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. So in here, there are lots of autumn colours, winter colours, and it is beautiful. So that is all the colours in here. I'm not too sure what ones I'm going to use. I might try and do like a darker eye. Do I? So first, I think I might go in with the colour Dawn, which is this one here, just as a base. I do remember that the fallout of this palette is quite a lot. So I'm literally just going to pat it on to start with and then sort of blend it out. Make sure you can actually see because in previous videos you can't. So, I've realised why I don't really use that palette. It's because it doesn't really blend. So, sorry you're still zoomed in, but I'm going to continue with my eyes. But I'm using my Tartlet Toasted Palette. Which looks beautiful. And these are the colours. You might have remembered this from a previous video where I throw it across the room. The colour I'm going to use now is Warmth, I think which is this one here it's a shame because that palette does look very nice it just doesn't want to cooperate whereas this one is very smooth so what i'm going to do i'm going to put the color cozy which is this darker sort of brownie red color and I'm just going to put that along the bottom of my eyes. And sort of drag it up to meet the top. And the same on the other eye. So that is the eye look pretty much done. I'm now going to pop some brow gel on just to fluff my eyebrows up a bit. This is the Wet and Wild Clear Mascara, but you can use it in your eyebrows too. And now for lips, I'm going to be using some of my Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb in the colour Fenty Glow. And this is the finished look. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, 
I'd love if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one.